Hello everybody, Dr. Blue here. Today I'm back playing Shadow of War. Last time we actually made a, a kind of a small mini team of like Uruk Commandos and stuff. I thought it was really cool. We got like these three tough guys. There's not, it's not like a huge team like in Nurnum where pretty much the whole place is mine. It's like a few individual and effective Uruk captains that can fight for us and take down Bruise and stuff like that. I thought it was really cool. Um, but now they've been captured and Bruise has poisoned them. So I got to save them before they succumb to this poison. Um, so I've got to try and save my little commando team now. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually take over the fortress of Sirithungar. I'm really looking forward to taking over the fortress. Um, I kind of want Parsh to replace the war chiefs though, and I kind of want to have a huge full-on battle if I can help it, you know? I want this massive battle, and I want, some, I want Parsh to kind of replace the war chiefs, and now that I'm here, and I can, can advance time and stuff, he might do that for, uh, for himself, and stuff like that. I can have spies to infiltrate the fortress and shit, and maybe Parsh will execute one of them and say, this guy's a, a spy and shit like that, or he might get paranoid and execute one of his own Oryx or something, I don't know, um, but today we are taking on the Bruise mission and gonna hopefully save our guys before they uh, succumb to the poison that Bruise has given them, so let's get into it. Okay, alright, uh, yeah, I do believe we already took the, all the hay deer in this region, um, so I did want to do the uh, quest of Bruise in this region, um, there's obviously the Fortress Assault that I can't really do, um, but let's have a, I do want to set the, the marker for this, but let's have a look at the siege upgrades, um, and like what the current thing looks like. So, they've got reinforced walls from Parsh, and Narka the Shredder adds some fiery siege beasts, apart from that it's quite okay. Um, and then I've got guys here that can like give me these and stuff, um, and a headlopper and stuff, and I can add, uh, another follower, which would be, you know, my bodyguard. Again, if if I even if I wanted to assault this thing now, which I won't, um, I mean my soul force is level 107. I haven't even got any upgrades. Like holy fuck. Um, but I'd need quite a lot more. You know, I'd I'd need a couple more Urux to help take part in the fight, and I'd kind of want him to have loads of war chiefs as well. So it's like a really tough fight, not like just a small one, like the first fortress assault, like I did on Nernan. I don't know. I'd like it to be a bit more of a challenge, um, but anyway, that's not what we're doing today. Uh, what we're doing today is actually taking down Bruise. Oh, I also changed my cape um, last time real quick because um, I know my cape was legendary before, and it, you know it's got a hood and everything. It's 50% damage increase and shit like that. But this one has. If I stealth drain an enemy three times, I recover all health after a successful stealth kill, and I get 73 health recovery per beast kill. So if I stealth someone, I recover all of my health. I didn't even have to drain anyone. That's so good, and it's too good um, to pass up. So I kind of wanted uh, to get that back, um, and I do kind of want to stealth dominate people and unlock this now if I can help it. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. So there's one already, and I can probably stealth dominate someone over here, um, wherever the intel guy is, oh, it might just be a thing on here, I don't know, um, it might be the archer up above actually, it's probably an archer isn't there, oh shit, I don't know if you heard that or not, oh never mind, it's fine, so stealth dominate him and interrogate, so I'll get some intel and I'll also get uh, some good shit, so I'll get this guy, mark you the flogger, he looks a bit like Crow. She looks kind of awesome. Wouldn't mind having that guy on my team. Um, head lopper and, you know, the flo flopper or flogger or whatever that. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Oh, no. I didn't mean to drop down. Thank you. Thank God for the double jump because the climbing system can be a little weird in this game sometimes. So if that's the third stealth drain, is that the third stealth drain? Can I do this now? Uh... Oh no, I, I've only got two out of three, apparently. Oh, uh, one of them might be because of the intel, actually. That might be why. Oh, hi. Hi there. Um, okay, you you leave me alone, okay? You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. How about that? Hi there. Are you going to be my last one? You are. So now I can upgrade this thing uh, in my inventory real quick. And plus, plus it is it is more like stealth as well. It's only a little bit, but it's more stealth. But now, 
all health after a recover, recover uh, a successful stealth kill, which is really good. And there's never surrender, never from Ubeno Warner. This was actually the one I got, which was um, like just I got it randomly. This was the cloak I got randomly from Ubeno Warborn. I'm like, who the fuck is this? I just got it randomly, but it's a it's a fucking good cloak. I'll give it that. Ah, uh, all right. Anyway, uh, so Bruiser's captured my followers and poisoned them. Save them before the poison kills them. Cheeky fucker. Bruiser's is gonna keep fucking with us. Oh, he's he's not uh, he's not being on a good road for himself. Follow me. Let me guess. You received another message from Bruce. Oh, and you're not gonna like what he had to say. Bruce snatched up some of your boys and poisoned them. He wants you to know that if you don't move fast, they'll die. Oh no. Stopped. Well, you sort this mess out. I'll get back to tracking Bruce. <laughs> right back in Grave Walker. We make quite a team. You're ignoring me, aren't you? Is it because I said rat bag first? <laughs> the grave walker and rat bag. Better? <laughs> Thing is, like, he thinks that I would get annoyed by this little shit, which kind of makes him cute. Because <laughs> he, he probably would, but I don't. Okay, this is the place. You go do your thing, and I'll go do my equally important and heroic thing. Alright, have fun. Okay, let me stealth to you. This is how I used to get around the old game. That is how I would get around. It's so good. Who the fuck said that? Someone trying to... I don't know. Someone's saying something to me, apparently. That's Zoogle the Golden up here. Hi. Goodbye. Okay. Zoogle, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You can die, though. Sugor, I got you. I got you. Be free, man. Get rid of this poison shit. <laughs> I warned them I was trouble. They never listened, I think. <laughs> Who's saying that? Someone's saying it through the whole place. Someone's sticking up for Bruce. The Sea of Noon is home to beasts we can scarcely comprehend. But from time to time, clues about their existence wash up on the shore. Our patrols found this fossilized squid beak years ago. If it is proportional to the smaller squids that fishermen sometimes catch, the sea creature would be several hundred feet long. Such a monster is the stuff of nightmares, proof that this world hides horrors far worse than the orcs. Alright, cool. I think... I just kind of want to let you guys kind of see those when they happen. Yeah, Bruce has got some little kind of uh, guy around here that's speaking for him. Someone here. And you too. Sweet. And then, yeah, damn it, I'm out. Okay, how about you just die instead? I do need more L shot though. Okay, this is uh, the gold tooth guy. No, it isn't. It's the flogger, the head lopper. Even. This gonna be a clean getaway or a bloody one? Are you having fun yet? Bruce wanted me to keep you and your foolish followers entertained. Where's this elf shot? Where's this elf shot? Is it down below? He's got this little. This guy who's speaking for him is a real gobshite. I'll come take him out in a minute once I figure out who he is. Seems Bruce has got a few followers of his own. Oh, I love that I've got Shadow Strike now. It helps so much. Ah. But they don't know I can come back, but I can. Goodbye. Fuck it. Okay, get out of here. I got you. You're good. Bruises follower. Uh, Borgu the plan maker. Mortally flammable. Vulnerable execution. Exhaustion. Uh, poison weapon. Beast slayer. Furious charge. Rapid rampage. And I could. You know what would be funny if I fucking had him on my team and turned him against Bruce. That would be kind of funny. That would be funny. I think. 
I think that'd be quite ironic, or at least at the very least, that'd be cool. I want to see what it has to say, though. What do you have to say, huh? No, I won't fail, Bruce. You'll suffer for what you did to him. You're very loyal, aren't you? Borgy, the plan maker. What was that? Oh, holy shit! He was fucking picking him up and everything then. Uh oh, he's enraged. He's enraged. He's enraged. Fucking my Uruk commando guy went to fucking pick him up then and everything. He was gonna pick him up and drop him like a hot rock. <laughs> it was great. Right, I want you to be on my team and I'll turn you against Bruce. I think that'll be quite ironic. Tell me who needs It's kind of it's kind of funny that I got Bruce's uh, supporter on my side now. I like that. That's uh, that's quite ironic. <laughs> I like that. I think that's quite funny. Yeah, I think I need to, don't I? Well, what can I do? Oh, I can. Oh, I shame him, don't I? Do I shame him into madness? That would be cool. Uh, so I can hold. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, focus is consumed at a slower rate. That's pretty cool as well. Um, there's that, which is instantly dominate. Because I did unlock all of these now, and so. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So it affects I like high and beasts now. Um, I do want the other one, which is like where it, it consumes slower in the air. There's the blast as well, but I think the consume slower is a lot better. So what's go what's going on here? Uh, oh, he's raining cloth skin to a supply cache. Um, so what is flog of the spiders? You look kind of cool. Um, what is the mission that Bruce uh, wants? Uh, out of me, actually. What is the quest? Is it back in Nernan, I assume? Uh, sighting. Ratbag thinks he's found Ranger. Meet with him. He's in Saragost. God damn it. Going all around different regions, Ratbag. Alright, I mean, if you know best. Like, well, you... Actually, you don't, but I'll, I'll follow your lead. We'll go to Saragost if you really want. After I rescued my Uruk commandos in Sirith Ungol. Uh, so we'll go to Saragost. This is Saragost, right? Yeah, this is Saragost. Um, so let's travel to there and help Ratbag out. Alright, so we're back in Saragost. If I remember correctly, Saragost was quite a tough region. Um, we had a bit of trouble here last time. Um, there's a, a few guys. There's Hawk the Ruined. Oh yeah, I did quite learn the identity of a few guys, didn't I? And a Croach the Militant as well. Um, there is a few guys. I can probably get a lot of them now, uh, seeing as I'm quite a higher level. Yeah, I can probably like get most of them on my side now if I en if I encounter them. Um, but let's see what is on the map, and we'll see where the mission is for Ratbag, which is up here. There's another mission over here. Oh, that's Targoroth, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, we'll travel to the Ratbag mission and try and help him out. All right, so. We're quite close. I do want to help Ratbag out get and get Ranger back. I'm hoping Ranger can like be in a be in one of my um, armies or something, or Ratbag can. I don't think they will though, because they're story characters. And I wonder if I can get Bruise again. Again, I don't know. But Ratbag thinks he's found Ranger. Meet with him. Ranger, I mean, hey. Should there be bright lords? How many names do you have? Quite a lot. Never mind. I saw Ranger. My Ranger. You sure you saw him? With my own eyes! I'd have gone into the cave and saved him myself, but he's probably very heavily guarded. If you found him, then it means Bruce wanted you to. It's another trap. Yeah, potentially. I don't think you're very tough. Can you keep up with this? No, you can't. He's trying to run. He's running weird because he's trying to look at me and run while he's doing it. So he's trying to look back at me and run. I don't know why. Okay, is it this cave? All right, I'll go explore. Bruce, hi. I didn't know you were in here yourself. Hi. What's wrong? You've got an army to raise and a war to win, but here you are wasting time trying to rescue a brainless rock. 
You had better be quick, because a pack of my categories woke up in a foul mood this morning, so I decided to cut them loose. <laughs> they haven't eaten in days! You cheeky fucker, Bruce. I'm so that. gonna fucking beat your ass. You should know that I've been a little rough with him. I figure at this point, the pain of those categories tearing him apart will be a relief. You goddamn you, Bruce. Oh, come on. Of course it's not Ranger. Did you really think I was done toying with you? Not even close. I'm gonna so punish you once I'm fucking done. Right, if they're gonna try and hit me with exploding barrels, how about I detonate them first? Whoa, fucking archers. Right, let me fucking go to you. Fuck your exploding barrels, bitch. I'll come straight to you. How about that? I'll take out your fucking archers. How about that? That's uh, a way to not get hit by exploding barrels. Take out the guys fucking detonating them. Right, that works. There's an ambush waiting outside, isn't there? Hi! Speaking of exploding barrels... Come on! Come on, are we really trying to, are you really trying to throw grunt orcs at me, Bruce? You really think that's going to work? You know me, grunt orcs are nothing. I should have used Elven Light, really. I forget, I forget. I should have, but I forgot. I forgot to use it. Fuck, oh, you cheeky bitch. I'm going to get you in a minute. Fuck you for doing that, by the way. Good night, baby. And then fuck you for doing this shit. Good night, baby. Down you go. All right. I want to speak to Ratbag. If he says he saw Ranger, then. I saw Bruce double back, and then I heard a bunch of explosions, and then you killed a bunch of. Oh right. It was a trap. Yeah. But no worries. I saw where he went. I'll track him down. God damn it, Ratbag. Ah. Uh. Ratbag doesn't learn, does he? Why well, would he get hit by barrels? This was a waste of time. Not if Ratbag manages to track down Bruce. Once that happens, we'll end this. Well, the thing is, we've met him quite a few times, and he still got away from us every time. That's the only thing. I wonder what we would do to him once we uh, finally capture him. Do we, like, shame him? I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, focusing consumed at a slower rate while in the air. That's what I want. Um, there's also Wraith Chain, there's Deadly Spectre, um, and I can leave a Wraith behind that will kill my target. Okay, um, so what is the next quest uh, for Bruise, and where is it? It's in Gorgoroth? Come on! Seriously? Okay, Worse Than Death skill upgrade after, after this, so this might be the last one. The only thing is, I'm doing this like it's one storyline for Ratbag. Make an example of Bruce. But, um, Mordor, what happens to those who challenge us? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this quest line. I think I'm supposed to be like doing the Balrog quest line, or I'm like supposed to be doing all the quests at once. But I'm enjoying like this quest line. I, I, I like to kind of follow quest lines through, um, and like do them, you know, like one by one. But I think it wants me to do it individually. That's why it's kind of making it feel a little empty. I guess I don't know. Um, but I think we can... Well, where is the quest, actually? That's Sirith Ongol, so it's not that one. And then there's the Tower of Sorcery, so it's that's Minas Morgul. This is Gorgoroth, but I don't see the quest there. Fuck it, we'll go there. That's where it says it was, so it should be there. Okay, so we're back in Gorgoroth. But yeah, if we look at the quests real quick, I think in the quests, it wants you to do the one that it's got... So the Gondor quests... They were, like, represented by this question mark, because um, they were the ones they wanted me to do. I think they want me to do them in a specific order, but it allows you to do them in any order. So, like, uh, this thing on the map, uh, if I go to the map now, this will have 
um, this thing on it, which is like the initial quest. But if I did too many of them, it would have like the normal quest marker, which like the Eltarial thing does. And uh, the other quest, uh, the Bruce quest somewhere, wherever it is. I don't actually know where it is. But you know, like it has like these different icons and I think it wants me to do it in a specific order. But what if I don't want to do it in that order? But that, again, is a bit my fault because it kind of leaves you know, them out till, like, the rest of the game, which kind of, like, bores it a little, but at the same time, it's like, I kind of like this, um, I kind of like this quest line, you know? I, I want to do it, like, as it's coming in. I don't want to do loads of different quests at once and try and keep track of loads of different things at once. I want to do all this, but I think it kind of punishes me for that a little, or it feels like it anyway. I don't know. I just wanted to mention that real quick. Because it feels like it wants you to do all the quests at once to kind of feel that they all lead to the end, but you can do them in a different order if you want. So you can kind of ruin the experience a little for yourself, which is kind of what I'm doing. But I like to follow these singular quest lines through. So Idril and Baron or and stuff, I won't see them until the end of the game now or something like that, probably. So I don't see them again for ages now, which kind of sucks, but you know. I just thought I'd bring that up, you know? And I'm level 30 now as well, so I can recruit, recruit some higher level Uruks. Um, and I, I don't know the exact level of most of them in Gorgoroth, but this is one of the higher uh, capped um, level uh, of Uruks and stuff, so they'll be a lot tougher here. But yeah, so worse than death, and so uh, Ratbag has discovered Bruce's camp, rescue Ranger, and then put an end to Bruce. And it gives me the worse than death. Uh, oh, I just bit my tongue. Jesus. Um, and it just probably blew a lot of air into the mic. Uh, but yeah, it gives me the worse than death skill upgrade. Okay. So we've got a rendezvous with Ratbag. I want to see what the uh, skill upgrade it's supposed to give me is, though. Um, so what is the worse than death skill upgrade? Oh, it's here. So shame ruins the mind of your target, enormously reducing their level and possibly making them deranged. But there is a small chance that the target actually becomes stronger, creating a dangerous maniac. I kind of like that. Although, although when you like want to, um, I mean, you could you could turn it off, I guess, if you wanted to. But like, if you wanted to just shame a regular uruk. That would activate and it would go l much lower. But if he becomes a dangerous maniac, like, that would be a great recruiting chance, you know? I think that would be awesome, but it would, like, ruin most Uruks, you know? Which I think is a meh, a meh thing. I found Ranger and I found Bruce. This all feels very familiar. Will this Ranger explode like the last one? Let's hope not. No, Ratbag is sure this time. While you was off racing into a trap... I tracked down Bruce. The ugly Shrock never saw me. He's got my Ranger, the real one. I Let's hope so. This. Just keep out of sight. I don't want any more surprises. Right, splendid. Do it your way. No faffing about. No faffing about. Absolutely no faffing about. Absolutely none of it. doesn't expect us. We should strike now. First okay, good. Ranger is expendable. No, I shut up, Caliber and Bro. He's not expendable. Fuck you. He's not expendable. What are you talking about? Yeah, I like Ranger. I hope Ranger comes on our side as well. Like, we can actually use him in the army or something. That would be pretty cool. So, is Ranger, Ranger is level 30. I think Ranger levels up with me. Right, some ghoul eggs here. Uh, do I have a bodyguard for... Oh, do I? I, I, do, I do I? Do I have a bodyguard for this region? No, I don't. Damn it. I need a bodyguard for this region. Oh well. I guess I'll have to do whatever I do alone. Not impossible. Now I'm level 30. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I might be in trouble now. Okay, as long as they don't raise the alarm, which this guy's about to do. No, 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 no. Let me try to strike. Okay, there we go. I got him. I know it was a there we go, but it was a panic moment, right? It was a panic moment. I had to rush. So, you shut your mouth, okay? Shut your mouth! Fucking, I'm trying to get through here and win, alright? And I don't need you criticising me for saying a simple phrase, alright? So you shut, you shut the fuck up, audience, alright? You, sh you shut the fuck up. Don't you fucking run. If I actually, oh, I was going to drain him for health, but... 
I mean, I guess it's fine with whatever he does. I get all health recovery after a stealth kill, though, so if I just stealth kill this archer up here, I'll get all my health back, thanks to my new cape. So we don't even have to drain anyone. Look, I can just do this, and I get all health recovery back, which is so overpowered. Oh, God. That was very close. That was very close. The climbing system in this can be really fucked up sometimes, and it doesn't always work or do what you want it to, and it's kind of irritating. Okay. I can get you guys. You go down. He's got a lot of Uruks following him. I guess he's got a lot of Uruks following him, though, because he broke free of, like, my Bright Lord thing, you know? Which is, like, unprecedented for these Uruks. Or it should be, anyway. Ranger, no! I'm coming. I'm gonna help you. Ranger, I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm going to save you. Hi. Bye. Hold on. Let me take out this fucking archer of wherever he is. There's another archer around. Ah, oh, they're up here. It's not too bad, actually, if they're up there. They might not even notice what's going on. Oh, yes, I'm building up quite a lot of might as well. I don't think might de degrades, does it? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I hope not. Ranger, I got you, man. I'm here. I'm ready to help. Ranger, are you okay? What happened? Are you okay? It's all right. What happened? Easy. Easy. Is he hurt? Did, did Bruce hurt him? Oh, he's pissed now. <laughs> Let's go. I don't understand what a single word you're saying. I don't think Calibrimbor does either. Can you walk? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, let's go. <laughs> we need someone who can read Black Speech. We need a translator. Oh God, slow down, big guy. Slow down. You're quite fast. Hey, slow down. You're quite fast. Oh, he's quite big as well. Okay, let's go. I'm following. You're ready to end this. That makes two of us. Oh, and there's some else shot up ahead I need. Now to make an example of Bruce. Yes, we'll give him the worse than death thing. We'll make him deranged and and stuff. Slightly. But I did lose my whole family. Bruce, level 40? Where did that come from? Mount Bruce and ride him into the explosive barrels. Bring it, Bruce. Oh, Ranger's gonna fucking do it. Out of here, you fuckers. Thankfully, that didn't set off the barrels because I need them for a challenge. Oh, shit. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, they're going at it. These guys. Haha, I can mount you now. Come here. We're going to go right into this. Haha. That hurt. That hurt. I hope so. And this one. Yes. Take that. I didn't know I could do that. That was pretty cool, though. Somehow you missed. It's shameful because every ranger in this fucking game hits their shots, so you should be hitting them as well. Come here, Bruce. You're so predictable. Come on. We're going to ride you into this goddamn explosive barrel, and we're going to fucking make you crazy. We're going to make you fucking crazy. Come here. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, then. Come on. Oh. 
Come here. Come on. I know you broke free once. Now I'm going to shame you. I'm going to make you crazy. I wonder if he becomes a dangerous maniac. That would be a good twist. Oh, they're actually friends. It's good to see you too. Oh. Bad luck. Numbers no side. It's almost like he's talking. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Ranger. Uh, Grave walk. No. It's okay. Thank you, Bright Lord. We are even. Oh, we are. Oh, we. I don't want the fort. I never wanted the fort. Is this is that bruise? <laughs> you broke him. Yeah. I'd rather die than live like that. That's the point. Come on, Ranger. Let's get out of here. Oh, I kind of feel bad for Bruce. He's giving me the creeps. Oh, I kind of feel bad for him. Now that he's deranged. You're a cruel one, Grave Walker. You can speak. Oh yeah, I feel bad for him. Oh. I guess he did fuck us over though. It was a manipulative little, little shit. But oh, kind of feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. Fall and rise. Complete all bruise quests. Uh, so I can activate this skill upgrade to make Captain Shame suffer an extreme decrease in uh, level. Each time you shame an orc, there is a chance they will become deranged, this destroys his mind and weakens him further. There is also a small chance he will become a maniac, in which case his mind is destroyed, but he actually becomes stronger. So is Bruise and Ranger in the army now? I don't think Ranger will be, but maybe Bruise will. I don't know. I feel kind of bad. Oh, I made him crazy. Right, I might activate that, yeah. Because that's kind of cool. I kind of want some maniacs on my team. Uh, and then I might activate something in here, maybe? Um, chain of Souls. Uh, consume. Works against Ologs. Uh, what about Treasure Hunter? Domination speed, yes! Domination speed. I can do it really quickly now. Yeah, he's in, he's in the army. He's in the army, but he's like deranged and stuff. Yeah, he's definitely deranged. But I can meet him again now if I want. I kind of want to go meet him real quick just to kind of see how he is. He's kind of deranged, which is like... I, I kind of feel bad, you know? I feel bad. I robbed him of his intelligence and his mind. Oh, I kind of wanted him to become a maniac or something. I think that would have been really cool. Like, bruise the maniac. Oh, Anyway, we'll take Skondorian Artifact. a collection of advice from the long ago Gondorian swordsman. It includes a series of exercises he guaranteed would lead to triumph in every duel. Like all young Gondorian soldiers, I studied the Analex a great deal, and I learned two key things. One, Ruvenir's swordsmanship was undoubtedly better than his penmanship. And two, in Ruvenir's time, duelists were far more courteous than the orcs of Mordor. War ignores such niceties. Okay, alright, cool. Yeah, I want to see Bruce again now, because he's kind of, I mean, again, now I'm not going to see, um, I'm not going to see Bruce, oh, I'm, I'm going to see Bruce, but I'm not going to see uh, Ranger or uh, Ratbag until the end of the game again, probably, or maybe not even then, but I feel that their storyline is kind of complete, because they were reunited and they get to go do what they want, um, and Bruce is kind of insane now, so I guess theirs is kind of like, it's not left on a cliffhanger like um, Idril and Baranors. Like Idril and Baranors, they're just like in Mordor together. They're, I don't even know if they're romantically involved. So maybe they come back at the end of the game because I don't feel like their storyline's very like complete. Um, Shellobs wasn't really that complete either. So I hope we see her at the end of the game or something. You know, 
But like, I, I feel theirs felt complete, so I, I, I don't actually mind not seeing them to the end of the game, even if then, um, because I feel like that was actually, you know, a, a decent ending to what we had going on. Bruise the chopper. Let's go down to him. See if, uh, see what his mind's like now. Oh, oh, he's kind of crazy. I feel bad, but I kind of want to shame him again or something. See if he gets worse. Oh, I kind of feel bad. I feel bad for what I've done to him, but I can recruit him into my army now, and I could get like a reassignment order and put him somewhere. I guess. I mean, as a warrior, he's quite strong. He's not weak to much. Oh, let me detonate that. Oops. Detonate, please. Hello. Thank you. As a warrior, he's not bad, but he's just insane. Right, we're going to go out of the fortress and, out, like, here or something, so I can fight you alone. There's some guys over there, but that's fine. He just keeps talking about the four. Aww. Whoa, watch out, big fella. Aww, I feel bad. I feel bad because he just keeps talking about the four. It destroyed his mind, you know? I mean, he serves as an example, but like, aww. I feel bad. I'm going to shame him again, see if he gets any worse, or like just kind of lower his level, like really make him like a shame so he can't even fight anyone. It's like you have to kind of be a bit of a coward or something. Oh, look at him just going on about the fort. He's like, you can have the fort. I don't want the bloody fort. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad a little bit, but not bad enough to make him do it again. I kind of want to do it again. And he might even become a maniac or something. Alright, come here. Worse than death. Get out of here. I want to try to change his title, really. I don't know if it's changing... I don't think it'll change his title or something. It's not going to, I don't know. Yeah, he's in here. You can tell he's just kind of lost. He's mortally vulnerable now and he's mortally flammable from my shaming of him. And to be honest, his vulnerabilities, they weren't that bad before, you know? But I kind of just ruined him. Alright, I'll leave him in Gorgoroth. Maybe I'll come back uh, one day and kind of be like, How's it going, Bruce? Are you doing any better now? Like, I'll kind of, like, check on him and shit, I guess. Like, throughout. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright. Um, so I could do a Balrog mission if I wanted to. Um, but I think I might... Um, yeah, okay. We'll do the Balrog mission. Alright, we'll do the Balrog mission. Because I was going to go back to my army and learn and do some pit fighting. And just, like, try and um, work on my Uryx there a little bit. But I think, actually... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work on it. I forgot to say, it has this glitch where you select the quest, it doesn't appear on the map for some reason. Look, if I put it on now, it'll probably appear. No, it is in this fucking region, I know it is. Oh no, it's in Saragost, sorry. It's in Saragost. <laughs> and I'm in Gorgora. Alright, yeah, I'll come, I'll come back to Bruce, like, periodically, provided he doesn't die. Um, but I'll come back to him, like, periodically, and... And check on how he's doing and stuff. If he's got got gotten any more levels, and maybe he'll even get a fort one day again. I don't know. I feel kind of bad. Okay, I'll do the Balrog mission. But just during the loading screen, I had a bit of a brainwave. You know that guy who killed two of my captains, including my overlord. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I hope you're thinking what I'm thinking, because I'm thinking something really good I could do to him. About an upgrade that I just got. I think that would be pretty funny. Or pretty... At least an appropriate punishment. Maybe not funny. Because I kind of felt bad for Bruce. But 
I think that'd be an appropriate punishment, don't you? I think next time uh, I see Scoth, I'm gonna send him mad, or get like the worse than death thing, and uh, I think I think that'll be a sufficient punishment for him, don't you? I think that would be sufficient to take his mind. If he takes my uh, followers' lives, I think taking his mind and letting him live like it might suffice. Oh, there's a Frost Grog. Whoa, there's a Frost Grog fighting that guy. That's so cool. Like, the world is, like, alive around you. Fucking Grogs are having a fight. Like, holy shit, that's so cool. I like that, that's so dope. These fucking things are just fighting here. That's so cool. Alright, anyway, uh, so Targoroth rampages through Mordor, bringing disruption uh, to all her encounter it. Send this Balrog back to the depths. Okay. Oh, hi. Alright, let's go. Targoroth will not be difficult to find. Yeah, I don't think so either. The thing is, like, you see him fighting on the glacier, how does he not he melt the glacier? He must be returned to the depths. We will. We will. Or even just, you know, take him down or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Obviously we won't be able to recruit him. That would be so fucking OP. Having a fucking Balrog in your Urukami. <laughs> like, uh, get a fucking Overlord of the Fortress. The Balrog. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, hello, fucking... I feel like the Saragoss, when you go into Wraith World, it's so fucking buggy. Like, then I just came out of Wraith World, couldn't see a fucking thing. How is he not melting this place? Uh-oh. To the glacier? Uh oh. Have that, motherfucker. Have those two and that. Fuck you. Uh oh. Oh, that should help. Oh. Oh, you really have to kind of time this so that you don't get fucked by this guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh, uh, oh no. Thankfully this kind of like autopilots a little bit for you, which is helpful. Oh, eat shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, activate. Yes, okay, that gives us a little bit of time. And again. Okay, we're out on the glacier. I don't know how he's not melting the glacier, but I guess we'll see. How is he not falling through the ice right now? Is it enchanted ice or, or what? What's the deal? Oh, he is breaking the ice, I think. I heard it then. Oh! What do you expect me to do here? What did he say? Does it matter? Uh oh no. Oh no. Um wow. Was that supposed to happen? No, I just died so quickly. Oh my days. Okay, so what? I just gotta hold off until Karnan gets back? Is that what I gotta do? Because that thing's massive. It can catch me so quickly. I got nothing to shadow strike to. All I got is elven swiftness and I was using it. How do I get away from this thing? How do I get away from this? It's so big. Whoa! Whoa! Like that! Like, how am I supposed to escape this? Uh... I think this cutscene was supposed to activate before. Oh, she's coming. Oh, God! Get him, Karnan! Kick his ass! Let's go! Fly into this bitch! Oh, whoa, whoa. This Balrog is from another world. It is up to us. Whoa. Look at this shit. This is so kind of cool. This isn't working. 
fucking oh my god get fucked get fucked hold x what can i do with x oh holy fuck oh the voice he, the, uh, he does break Ah, oh, it is a good place to fight him no yes it is oh fuck he's jumping motherfuckers jumping Oh no, oh no, oh no, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh no. Turn around, you dumb bitch! Turn around! God damn it. Eat shit, bitch. Alright, I'm gonna push you in again. Ah! Go in there, you motherfucker. You like that, huh? You like that? Yeah, that's right. That hurt, bitch. Okay, turn, bitch, turn. Turn. Come here, you. Ah. Uh, eat that. Uh, uh. Come here, you. Ah. Uh. Oh, shit. He dodged that one. Oh, no. Conan. Come on. Come on, Conan. I got you. Yes! Fall in, motherfucker. You hate that ice, huh? You hate that? Good. I can straight up and down. Oh, while I'm flying like that. I've been trying to do it while I've been going around. Oh, fuck. Eat that, bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Take another ice blast. Take another ice blast. There we go. Oh, God. Come on. Stay with me, Karnan. Stay with me. Oh, flying drakes can be so difficult. Oh, my God. Stop fucking hitting me with that shit. Eat this, motherfucker. Come on. Go down. Gotcha. Oh, yes. Get him. Fucking get him. Oh, down you go. Stay down there, bitch. Holy fuck. A dragon and a balrog fighting beneath a glacier. That's so cool. Are we going to seal it beneath this thing? Did we seal it beneath the glacier? Undead. We defeat undead. Did she repair the glacier or something? What? Wait, or did she die or something? I don't know. Did she die by doing that? Did she die by doing that? Lord of Horror. Defeat the Balrog. Wait, was that all Balrog quests? Surely not. Surely not. Okay, hold on. No way that was all the... There was no way that was all the fucking Karnan quests. Okay, no, it's only 33%, but we defeat the Balrog pretty quickly, jeez. So, Karnan sacrificed herself so that the Targoroth could be destroyed, but Zog remains and the wind carries an ominous smell of decay. Return to the forest of Karnan to investigate the source. So, that was a quick fight with the Balrog, that was only two missions. I would think maybe it would be a bit lengthier. I mean, you know, I, I don't want them to, like, drag it out so it just, like, takes forever and you keep missing the Balrog like they did a little bit with Bruce, but... Like, was that it? Two missions? Was that it? Really? I would think you'd have a bit more. I don't know. It's just weird. Alright, we can do those next time. And there is Zog, of course. We can do those next time. Um, and, like, obviously this will go a bit more into the Necromancer story, I think, now. Um, so, yeah, like, the Tower of Sorcery has this symbol on it now these have the altario symbol this has the question mark uh, exclamation mark symbol because this is the next mission it wants me to do which is weird so i might go back to minus uh ithel or minus morgul as it is now now known uh next episode and try and check what's going on there and then i'll come back to the Karnan quests or something i don't know it's trying to have me like do loads of different things at once which is weird um yeah i i, I don't know um it's trying to dictate what quests I do by like slightly hinting at it and it kind of hates it when you don't or at least like it 
I don't know. I, I don't know what to think right now. The story is weird, because if you want to play the story your way, it kind of leaves the game a bit empty, or at least, like, you don't see one guy with particular storyline to the end of the game. If it wanted you to do the quest in a certain order, it should make only the next quest available, so that you do loads of different ones, but you can, like, power through one of them in particular if you just want to. I don't know, it's a bit weird, um, but you can actually replay missions as well. You can't do those, because that's just learning shit, but, like, I can re replay all these missions as well if I want, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can go back and replay them. Um, but next episode, we will do the Altariel quest uh, in Minas Morgul and kind of try and confront the Witch King or something or do whatever's going on in there. Um, and we'll get to that, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I've been Dr. Blue. You've been my audience. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm blue.